folks, this is Aitan Ajha from InspireTheRise.com and today we have the Asus PhonePad 7 here with us for review and as you can see it comes in a white, uh, white package and we have different four color options for the device and we have the white colored Asus PhonePad 7 with us. Let's just unbox the device and we have the tablet here, we have the instructions manual and apart from that we have the standard uh, USB cable and the adapter and let's just keep all this aside and uh, delve into detail about how this device is so uh, we as you can see the device is quite good uh, it has a, a good finish a good display and it comes with uh, Asus Zen UI the mm, trademark Asus custom UI which uh, you might have seen in the Zenfone 5 and as well as other Asus offerings and uh, as you can see the display no so right now it's now on full brightness and uh, it's more clearer so uh, the device was launched in uh, 2013 and it has a 7 inch display with uh, 1280 into 800 pixels resolution and uh, as you can see uh, it has uh, got um, quite a good uh, bit of pixel density as compared to most tablets in this range it has a 7 inch display and 216 ppi and uh, browsing between the U uh, UI and the launcher etc is uh, really awesome and uh, it's, it also has full 3G phone functionality and as you can see the Zen UI uh, looks really good uh, it does not feel dated or anything like that and uh, the interface is really good and uh, let's just test the camera the camera for this device is uh, good uh, it has a 5 megapixel back camera and a 1.2 megapixel front camera. The back camera is capable of shooting full 1080p HD videos and the front camera can shoot some 20p videos. Here is a picture of my wall that I took with the back camera. Though there is not a significant detail in the photo but still it's acceptable and uh, it can pass off as a good image and uh, as you can see further. Uh, we have also apps like Supernote, uh, something which adds some custom functionality to the uh, tablet. So as you can see, uh, when we write, uh, when we when I write off just with my finger, it would be saved in the pad as words. Uh, so uh, so as, as I wrote, easily write this, easily write things, and uh, all of that is stored in the uh, stored in the tablet as words. So I can uh, write whole books, whole everything, <laughs> anything that I want to write. So it, it is great for aspiring novelists too who just want to uh, have a full manuscript but I won't suggest that because uh, your own writing might not be legible to everyone else. So uh, as you can see uh, this application is good. It provides you ways to kill your time or do new things and as you can see uh, Asus has also provided with the custom calendar and other uh, specific applications specific to the Zen UI, specific to the PhonePad 7, the in, uh, internal storage etc applications most of which are not really built in the stock Android offerings so uh, uh, these are all uh, built in with this and there is a battery saver mode optimized saving for uh, for the device which tells you uh, how to you can, how you can optimize the whole performance and as we have enabled the ultra saving mode and so uh, there are many things which uh, Asus has uh, really built really good uh, it has uh, built in into the operating system so uh, let's just uh, test something right now and we would play some music mm. so let's just test the video playback for this device and uh, I guess stay to heaven should do the job and, uh, and so we have this uh, video with us here and um, as you can see the audio is good stereo as we have the stereo sound speakers so the audio comes in good and uh, as we turn the device you can see the white finish is good it has an Intel inside logo too and uh, the camera is good 5 megapixel and it does not produce out and so uh, now just uh, as you can see there is a flap on the uh, left hand side of the device uh, which allows you to insert the micro SD card as well as the two 3G SIMs so uh, uh, so it's really good in terms of connectivity too and uh, people can actually uh, do something good with this device so uh, now let's just uh, pl play it back so uh, now that's all for the video and we would test uh, another aspect of the audio through the default music player and uh, let's just test the default music player and let's just see which song would we select so uh, now we have a song by Coldplay up here lined for you and uh, let's just uh, move the song a bit forward
so uh, as you can see uh, the audio was okay it was fine and uh, as we have the other dongles uh, as you have the other uh, options too uh, this uh, this these all uh, clean ram and other options and as you can see the calculator too has a really good uh, look and feel to it so the zen ui overall feels really slick to use and uh, we also have the mirror uh, which uses the front camera to act as a mirror so that the tablet can act as a mirror and uh, there is also uh, the default music application uh, from where you can play your music and uh, so uh, all in all it's a very good experience this tablet and let's just browse on the uh, chrome for this uh, tablet and as you know which url we would open first we would open our default site i2r.in which stands for inspiredarise.com so i2r.in and let's just uh, test the browsing performance on this device browsing etc is all uh, really good and we are connected to our own slow wi-fi network so uh, browsing and etc should not be troublesome and uh, actually people buy tablets only for media consumption for uh, reading ebooks for reading uh, stuff for consuming their content so uh, all in all the tablet serves good browsing on this device is not much of a pain it's easy it comes intuitively like on uh, most devices it's matlab uh, it's all software specific you don't have to uh, think too much you you can just use it there is no other problem in this so and uh, pardon me for the indian jargons and uh, all of that so uh, it's easy to do things on the device because of the obviously because of the 7 inch form factor and the tablet is that's why a preferred device for media consumption for most of the people so how to stay motivated step by step guide uh, that's something we wrote a long, a long time back and it's uh, really good and still something worth reading even today even when i'm down myself i read this guide it sums up beautifully what we as humans tend to overlook so um, that's our site on this tablet easy browsing just scroll up and down so uh, as you can see browsing etc is not much of a problem and you can just use the clear all button to clear all the recent applications and we have the antutu benchmark here with us test the overall performance of this device so let's just test the scores on the antutu benchmark we will run the test and we will skip through some of the part for you so that you don't have to see all of the percentage going on and on the antutu benchmark test devices on the basis of how much uh, cpu float calculations they can make how easily they can render different scenes and so we are now covered it to 40% and let's just clear all the use this notifications and 48% and uh, right now the graphics test would start which test the visual display and the gpu and the rendering of how the device uh, renders information and uh, uh, if i didn't tell you about the device the device is, uh, has a intel atom z2560 chipset and a dual core 1.6 gigahertz processor it has a power vr sgx 544 mp2 gpu uh and uh, not something which most arm users are familiar with because it's an uh, intel based system the processor is dual core 1.6 gigahertz and uh, we have internal memory options up to 8 16 32 gb it has 1 gb ram it has micro sd uh, support for up to 32 gb of expansion the Uh, the tablet supports uh, Wi-Fi 802.11a, b, g, n, and as well as dual bands, and uh, it supports Bluetooth version 3. It has an accelerometer, proximity compass, and other sensors, and uh, it's uh, it has a good battery life. You can't say excellent. It has well, somewhat in between the region of better and good. It's that way. And as you can see, the Antutu 3D benchmark it uh, shows performance in terms of FPS on the bottom left corner of the screen. So on the bottom left corner of the screen, the FPS are displayed, and our human eyes can visibly see the difference between uh, good performance and lag when there is a uh, stuttering between the frames, or the frame rate is too low so that our eyes can recognize between the individual frames. So that is the moment when you know a tablet or a phone is failure. So that does not happen with the phone pad 7, as you will see. Uh, till now, the frame rates are amazingly good, and uh, it has a standby time of up to 840 hours on 3G, and talk time up to 10 hours on uh, 2G, and up to 28 hours on 3G. 
so uh, these are all the claims that asus makes but uh, for us on heavy usage while watching movies and etc the device lasted us for a good of around more than half a day on really heavy usage gaming and etc so as you can see the scores uh, the device does not score too high too high on the score it uh, it is a moderate of uh, 17820 uh, not too high performing or not even too low performing but still it's a respectable device and you can easily uh, you can easily get most of your stuff done easily run most of your games etc and uh, it won't be much of a trouble and you will run subway surf just to show you that uh, they might be lag somewhere they might be lag somewhere here on there but uh, all of the things uh, considered uh, things also depend upon how, how well how, uh, which type which type of storage you use for example the micro sd card that we have used here is a class 4 micro sd card of 8 gigabytes so uh, these are also the factors that you need to consider while using a device what type of uh, storage you use what are the conditions what are the applications that you have side loaded along with what you have so uh, all in all it makes for a good or a better device a good a better or worst device experience uh, so as you can see there, there is a bit of lag somewhere here or there maybe it's also because of the fact that we have the game data in the sd card but normally uh, normally when we are using the device after a reboot or something like that the game plays lag free though the occasional lag can also be attributed to the fact that the device runs on the intel dual core processor and most of the tablets in this range or in the higher range have a quad core processor or something even better so that also might be the reason and the device has a resolution which is higher than most of the tablets in this range it has 1280 to 800 resolution so that also might be one of the contributing factors behind the lag because a higher resolution requires more power more juice to uh, give all of the details so uh, it has uh, android 4.4.2 kitkat by default it shipped with android 4.2 jelly bean but right now it has been upgraded and uh, whether it will receive the uh, lollipop update is still not sure and not known till this point and so as you can see the kitkat logo and all of that stuff and um, this device is not really heavy at a, at 328 grams it's lightweight and feels good but uh, i guess some of this space or has been wasted on this uh, bezel etc and it has good features like audio mode uh, you can easily customize you can easily customize the zen ui you can easily customize how uh, your apps are shown how uh, how on the basis of your frequency of usage downloaded apps and etc you can change the grid size you can change how the grid looks you can change even the custom animation which is uh, which is used to uh, display and the smart groups also uh, there's a feature called smart groups which enables you to create smart groups based on your usage so uh, apps are grouped into really good folders uh, without you having to think too much so uh, that's also one of the good features in the zen ui and uh, as you can see the grid size can be manipulated and changed uh, depending upon your own personal preference for example older people might like a smaller grid size like 4 into 4 so that the icons are within their easy reach and usage and uh, as you can see uh, all of the settings can be changed school level wallpaper other uh, lock app settings etc it, uh, it is really customizable as it gives you power, power in your hands and uh, for example i selected the card flip animation so right now the uh, pages would scroll in like cards so all in all who should buy this device this device is for people who want a good uh, tablet with calling experience etc and uh, who want who might be able to compromise somewhere uh, but uh, want a decent tablet which performs well has a primary secondary camera good pro it's good st stereo sound and all of that so uh, that's all in all i guess for this device and uh, for the price for which it retails i guess uh, the device is uh, good not that awesome but good this is aitanaja from spiderrise.com signing off